Okay, we have a question two. Evaluate one, one, or let me take that again. We have question number two. Evaluate one, zero, one, base two, raised to power three, raised to power three. And we have some options. Option A, or one, 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 zero, one, base two. We have option B, we have option B, we have option C, and we have option D. So let's go ahead to solve that. So solution quickly. Solution. Now, uh, we have this. This simply means uh, one, zero, one, base two. We are just rewriting that raised to power three raised to power three now first let's convert this number base in base two let's convert to base 10 so we first convert this to base 10 so let's convert convert uh let me write that down convert one zero one base two to base 10 so let's convert that to base 10 so convert that to base 10 so we use expansion method to confirm that, uh, to convert that so 1 0 1 base 2 to base 10 will be equals to now by indices this first uh, number is 0 as a unit this is 1 and this is 2 so we are going to be multiplying this by 2 this by 1 and this by 0 so that will be 1 times 2 raised to power 2 will be using so this is a uh, 1 times 2 raised to power 2 because of the 2 like we said initially and this is plus the next number 0 times 2 raised to power 1 year 1 so this is 0 0 1 and 2 so we're using that to multiply two so plus the one next next is one this number here one so one times two raised to power zero so we clear this now one times any number is that number so two raised to power two is four is four plus zero times any number is zero so zero times two raised to power one is zero so we do that so 1 times 2 raised to the power 0. Now any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So 1 times 1 year, we have 1. Now at the end of the day, we have uh, 4 plus 1, we have 5. So this is in base 10. This is in base 10, 5 base 10. So let's return that. We are returning this for this now. So that we have that 1, 0, 1, base 2 is raised to the power 3 is equals to 5 in base 10 raised to power 3 and 5 raised to power 3 is just our normal 5 times 5 times 5 so 5 in 3 places will give us 1 2 5 in base 10 because base 10 is a natural number we are dealing with raised to power okay we are already done with that so there is no need to raise the power because we already multiplied that by Three, so there's nothing no need to doing that again uh, multiplying that in three places so we are going to convert this uh, we are going to convert this number down to base uh, 2 we're going to take this back to base 2 this 1 2 5 base 10 we take it back to base 2 so we we'll convert convert uh, 1 2 5 in base 10 to base 2 to base 2 so we're going to do that so if we convert that to base 2 we are going to use the continuous division kind of a continuous division of it so that would be 1 2 5 okay we did that so let's do that kind of a continuous division uh, division okay so we go on now, by the time we do that, I will use a 2 to divide this continuously. 2 will divide this. We have uh, 62 
remainder 1. Very simple, 2 we're going to 12, you have 6. 2 we're going to 5, you have 2, remainder 1. Now we repeat the same thing. 2 we're going to 62, we have 31 because 2 we're going to 6 is 3 and 2 we're going to 2 is 1. Nothing remains, so we remainder 0. Now we do the same thing, 2. 2 we're going to uh, 31, we have uh, 15. 15. Because 2 we're going to 3, you have 1 remainder uh, 1. We add it to this, we have 11. So 2 we're going to 11, we have 5 remainder 1. So that would be remainder 1. So if you use your calculator as well, 2 we're going to uh, 31, you're going to have 15 point something. And the decimal part is what you convert and you have uh, the remainder to be 1. Now if I use 2 again, so I'm going to take this uh, over to another part. So let's continue okay let's finish up this then we we'll take it to another part so two uh two can also go into 15 it will leave a remainder so two we're going to 15 we have seven because we know that two times seven is 14 two times seven is 14 so it will be left with one to make it 15 so remainder one so i'm going to take that over to this side so let me cross this and take it over to this side so just be with me while we do that Let's move over to this side. Now uh, we are making progress. So uh, I'm going to continue from here. So we still have, uh, let's rule this. We still have seven here. We still have seven. So let's continue. Seven. Now two, we're going to seven. So I'm taking this over to this side. So two, we're going to seven. You have uh, three remainder one because. 2 times uh, 3 is 6 remainder 1. So I will take again. I'll move on to the next one. 2 we're going to 3. I have 1 remainder 1. Because 2 times 1 is 2 remaining 1 to make it 3. Now 2 we go into 1. 2 cannot definitely go into 1. So that will leave us with 0. And we take this 1 over to this side. So we have that. So at this point we have uh, 1 year. And we have once we have, get to 0 year we stop according to or binary numbers so we're going to pick all this so we'll be picking from this down we'll pick from this from down up to the end here we'll pick from down up to the end so we have that uh, let me put it here we have that uh, this one two five in base ten in base ten is equals to equals to so if you if you write that down you find out we're going to have one two three four five so that is one in five places one two three four five so let's write that one two three four five and we also have another number to deal with we have zero here we have one so we pick that as well zero and one so that will give us in base two in base two so that gives us in base two now if we go back to our option we will find out that the correct option is option c so that's why we have one 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 that is one two three four five if we count our own one two three four five and we have zero one we have zero one in base two so the correct answer is this so that is the answer to this question Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.